Lot number 111 is a 2010 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. This unit overheats after 20 minutes of running. So we're going to go through it and I'm going to show you the engine. I'm going to show you the, the, the car. The headlights are dull. The motor appears to be complete. I'm going to check the oil to make sure that there's no water in the oil or anything like that. Let me find a dipstick first, right over here. Make sure the oil is nice and clean. Okay. I just broke the dipstick, so I couldn't get it out, which is wonderful. Well. Let me show you the car. The car has a good stance. The hubcaps are nice. All four tires look good. I'm going to start it right up. It's got the jump box on because the battery is dead. Let me turn it on. The searchlight was removed. The back of the mirrors had blue and red. They removed it. Let me show you the engine first. Let me rev it up. Let me turn off the radio. Okay. This motor is good. It may overheat for some reason. It could be the thermostat. It could be something, but the motor sounds good. Idling nice and smooth, and it rubs up really nice. Let's uncover the bow cover where you're pouring the oil. Oops, turned off on me. The oil looks good. It looks good. All right, the battery is really bad. I'm going to hit it with this other jump box because this jump box automatically turns off after 15 seconds. It's one of these new technology boxes. It could start up a semi, but it turns off automatically after 15 seconds. But not this one. This one stays on. So let's start it right up. And uh, let's see how about the overheating issue. All right, it's got 11, 111,936 miles. Motor sounds really good. And the hours is 10,767 hours. Motor's good, no doubt. It's got an AM FM CD player. The steering wheel looks good. The seats. Right there, that's the joint. It's not torn. Here it shows wear. Passenger side seat is stained and dirty. Door panels look good. The dash is good. The headliner is good. Door panels look good. It's got a plastic rear seat. All the tires look good. Let me show you the rest of the body. It's not overheating yet. Tail lamps look good. Rear bumper scraped. The body is straight. All right, so let's look at the temperature. It's not overheating yet. The AC is not blowing cold. I'm gonna turn it on anyway. AC is not blowing cold. The engine idles smooth, sounds good, temperature, well we just started it, so, let's 
Sounds good. Sometimes, remember these vehicles have been sitting for a while, and I've even had them low on water, you know what I mean? I've seen them low on water. And sometimes just putting water in it solved the issue. But uh, I was told this one overheats after 20 minutes of running. So I'm not gonna be here 20 minutes in this video with you. I just wanted to show you that that the engine sounds good, transmission engages, the battery is dead, and show you the vehicle like we show all the other ones. But this one supposedly overheats. The motor sounds good. It's got it's got coolant. So it may be the thermostat. Let me see if I can uncover the oil now. Because I got the jump box on. Yeah. No smoke, no nothing. Motor sounds really good. All right, that's pretty much it. I recommend you tow this vehicle out of here. Don't drive it because since it's overheating, I don't want it to overheat on you on the way home or wherever you're going to the mechanic. I recommend you tow it. All right. Good luck.